You're listening to Catholic Sprout, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. This week, we are talking about the kerygma, the seven truths that help us understand the faith and share it with other people. This week, we are tackling the first truth, God loves you and has a plan for your life. We talked to you yesterday about, about how God is love. And today, we're going to talk about how this truth that God loves us and has a plan for our life completely changes the way that we see the world and interact with it. Before we dig into that, though, please join me in our June prayer, prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O most holy heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessings on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. So once again, we are talking about the first truth of seven in the kerygma. God loves you and has a plan for your life. Now, as Christianity spread, the world changed. A lot of things that we take for granted were only developed as the world became Christian. So let me give you a couple of examples. Hospitals, schools, charity of any kind, law, lawyers, those all came out of Christianity. And do you know why? Because suddenly when we believe that God is love, that he loves me, I come to realize that I'm not the only one he loves. God loves all people, and all people were created in the image and likeness of God. Therefore, all people have an infinite dignity, that nobody is a throwaway person, that I'm not better than someone, that all people are entitled to health, all people are entitled to education, All people are entitled to food, to clothing, to justice in the court systems. So because of this realization that all people have dignity, which Christianity brought to the world, it was really not an idea shared in the world before Christianity. The whole world changed. In ancient Rome, when St. Peter and Paul arrived, there was terrible class systems. There were the Roman elite who had tons of money and slaves and all sorts of jewels, land, palaces. And then there were people that they just could kill or throw away. They had no regard. Their lives had no value in their minds. But we know that this is not true that God loves me, but he loves you. He loves all people. And therefore, all people have certain rights that cannot be compromised. Christianity not only changes the larger world that we live in, but it challenges me as an individual to change too. When I realize that I am made in the image and likeness of God, I know that in order to be who I was created to be, to be happy, to be fulfilled, I need to become more like God and less like those selfish, sinful desires that I often give into. And so this is the beautiful way that Christianity, that this truth, this piece of the kerygma, this proclamation changes hearts and then goes out and changes the world. Now, although not not many people in our society, it feels like, really believe and follow Jesus. We live in a society that has been formed by Christian ideals, whether we know it or not. 
our challenge now is to remind people that these things all came from Jesus and that he remains the way, the truth, and the life. And so Sprouts, uh, in a couple of days, a couple of weeks rather, we will get to the part where you are challenged to share the name of Jesus with people. And so once again, I challenge you to pray in Our Father prayer, just growing in this identity as a son or daughter of Jesus and asking God to give you the confidence and the opportunity to share him with other people. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. I hope you are planning to join us this coming Saturday for a chat with Father Ben Kachimba inside the clubhouse. We love these religious order Q&As that are live and always bring up the best conversations because our clubhouse kids have the best questions. So come meet Father Ben Kachimba. He's a wonderful priest who has a powerful vocation and is excited to meet you. If you don't happen to be a member of the clubhouse, you are welcome to join us. Just follow the link in the notes for this podcast episode to find out where you can join us. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.